Okay, and we are here at 5E Gallery with Fluid, officially known as Joel. I call him Joel. But. Call him Joel. You can call me Joel. <laughs> so, Joel, tell me about um, this event. How did you get it together? Um, I know you from Cafe Mahogany, right. so just tell me a little bit about what you've been doing for Detroit and this whole event. How did it come apart? Wow, okay. Well, I've been doing poetry in the state of Detroit and around the country now for 15 years. Um, started Cafe Mahogany. I was like 17, 18, hanging out. I remember. Yeah, and then before I knew what I was hosting, I did it for three years, moved on. And I keep it in my heart. It's a beautiful spot that, you know, you know that was once open and closed now. But um, I still do it. Um, so since then, I've been doing a lot of college events, um, shows for organizations, different companies, from Chrysler to Coca-Cola to whoever. Um, and I do a program called Words and Rhythm to the D, and we do it every year at the Music Hall. You know, they're a nonprofit, so they're actually our, you know, big venue that we work with. What mm -hmm. I do is I do outreach in the high school, and then at the end of the year we have a big show at the Music Hall where we have the students open up for a nationally known act. First year we had Saul Williams, who's an excellent poet, um, actor, activist, then we had Talib Kweli. Uh, oh, I love him. Talib, I know you know. Uh, we have Talib Kweli and Jessica Care Moore, who's from here. Uh, and worldwide and internationally known poet though. And the last year we had Peck Dib and Currency. It's like the hot, you know, the college crowd, you know what I'm saying? They both like, you know, two groups, or one, one, one group and one rapper with like burgeoning careers. Um, it's a lot of fun. So we take about 15 to 20 students, they get to open up on the stage, do their poetry, and throughout mm -hmm. the year we get them prepared for that. You know, we help them develop their own style of poetry. We don't really necessarily tell them they have to sound like me or you or anybody else. Just like be yourselves and do your own thing. And with that, you know, just instill some confidence in them. Just, you know, do their own thing, express themselves, you know, and, and share what's on their mind. We're talking about high school. Detroit, it's really people. hard to yeah. get out that frustration or whatever it is that, that is on their mind. They get the chance to express themselves through poetry. So yeah. that was one of my known passions when I was in high school. I was a little shy, withdrawn, and poetry brought that out in me. Okay. So going to Cafe Mahogany and then seeing you there and then meeting you at Hilarious at Privé, reuniting and then actually getting more acquainted, so. Yeah, well, then, look where you at now. You about to be on Detroit Gobble Girl, you know what I'm saying? Because Myra is that whip, man. I love the Myra. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, like you're saying, though, it's like, you know, I was the kind of person, I was kind of quiet in high school, too. I was outgoing on the inside. But it took, like, I'm going on the inside, that's funny, right? But, like, it took, like, me defining something that I really felt good about, like, art form or talent or skill that actually showed me, okay, now I'm going to get out there and share with the world. So, now, for me, it was, like, hip-hop and poetry, you know what I'm saying? Once I discovered, like, I like to write, I like to get on stage, do that. Detroit hip-hop, y'all. Yeah. He's got a CD out. A couple of CDs, yeah. A couple of CDs. Where can we find your CDs? And also, what are the other events that people can come out to to come and support? Well, I'm doing an event um, September 11th at the main library on Woodward from 12 noon to about 2 o'clock. Um, they have the MC Lights a part of this whole initiative, a big literacy Wait. month initiative they have at the library. So they had MC Light today, that was today actually at Wayne State. And then she's still going to be in town for um, probably the rest of the week actually. And then Saturday is a big show. Uh, me, Jessica Caremore, Kari Kamani Turner, um, somebody else is going to be up too. Uh, Chica McFly and Pathy Jossi, I believe, is like an instrumentalist, uh, West African instrumentalist. And that's going to be really hot. It's a free event. So kids can come out, family, no cussing, no ignorance, a lot of fun. Hi, and we are here at the Fifth Element Gallery downtown on Michigan Avenue at 2661 Michigan Avenue. And we're here with Crayola today, and she has a cupcake business. So uh, tell us about your business and what brings you here. Well, like, like you mentioned, my name is Crayola. Uh, my business is Fancy Schmancy Cupcakes. Um, I've been in business for about nine months. Uh, I got started, uh, it was pretty much a passion of mine. I like baking and things like that, and I decided to let it make money for me. So it took off really quick. I've been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of repeat customers, so it's, it's doing really good. Um, what's special about Fancy Schmancy Cupcake? Um, my banana pudding cupcake, for example. Uh, yes, like the yum oh dessert. <laughs> banana pudding. Um, it has a vanilla wafer at the bottom, a banana batter, 
filled with banana pudding and a banana buttercream on top. So that's mm -hmm. one of the many uh, exquisite flavors that you can look forward to when you come for Fancy Chance Cupcakes. Okay. I've got the fifth element, the, I'm sorry, the 5E Gallery tonight. Uh, Fluent invited me. Um, I am actually a vendor, so I'll be here every Wednesday selling my cupcakes. And I try to feature like four different flavors each time so the people can get a taste of you know, all the different varieties. So do you have a website for your business? Yes. Uh, my website is fancyschmancycupcakes.com. That is F-A-N-C-Y, S-C-H-M-A-N-C-Y, cupcakes.com. You okay. can also find me on Twitter at My Fancy Cupcakes and on Facebook at And we are with Kevin, DJ Head. Everybody calls him Head. Yes. Indeed. And just tell us about what have you been doing for Detroit as what of late. What have been doing as for Detroit as of late? Who are you working with? Who am I working with? I'm working whoever pays the damn bill. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, I just actually I'm doing a lot of like mentoring right now. To be honest with you. Okay. You know, young cats. So, what brought you to the mentoring state? Like, tell us a little bit about actually, you. I've been mentoring for a long time. Like Zakari owns the Five E Gallery. Okay. One of my students, Slowpoke, is another one of my students. He's around here DJing a lot. Who else is another student of mine? Lahetti. She spins with one below. Okay. Uh, and then, as I'm at the gallery every week, there's more and more that come. And then more prodigies. Yeah, prodigies you know, they yours. come, they talk to me, I talk to them. Then we connect, and if you want to come call me and wake me up, then wake me the hell up. That lets <laughs> me know you're hungry. Because I did the same thing when I was coming up. Okay, so where are you at? On Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. I don't like Twitter. Okay. That's a personal thing. <laughs> so what's your name on Facebook so yeah. people can find Look you? Look up DJ Head. DJ Head. And yes. are you with any radio stations right now? Or? No. No? No. And who have you worked with as of late, like artists? Artists? Yes. Hmm. Nobody. Well, well five, ele five elements to group. I worked okay. with them. In my past, I worked with Eminem. Okay. Jay Z, Exhibit D12. Uh, Jay Dilla. Dilla was my dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me and Dilla used to go beat shopping every Sunday, once a week. On the fat donut. The f this is the before donut. all this donuts and everything. When he was, me and his careers kind of started off at the same time. Okay. But mine's happened a year later. His happened. <laughs> I'm one third of the most incredible rap act that you've ever seen. That is the legendary Five Ella. Yes, I'm one of those Detroit pioneers. Yes, I work with the likes of Dilla, Eminem, Proof, like, you know, it's my brothers. And y'all can Google it and check it out. Anyway, down here at 5E Gallery, you know, this is a new spot, man. We, we created the, the soul and heart of Detroit hip hop and what it means to be a rap writer, MC, DJ, B Boy. We hold it down, you know what I'm saying? Bob Bella represents. Still doing it, past, present, and future. We got the yesteryears, 
which a lot of y'all know is, uh, you know, Proof is the original member of our group, so it's still our original producer, so we're going to release a whole bunch of vintage material to come out of y'all. Some tasty treats that y'all ain't even a home yet, you know what I'm saying? Detroit don't even know about it. It's like 20 years old, and, and we still out here doing it. We still got five dot bandcamp.com, so we still got five EPs. Get a little slower for I'm the sorry, people. five. Ella, that's five, the number five, E-L-A, dot bandcamp, dot com. It's a free download. Every fifth of every month, we got five songs we're hitting y'all with for free. Everybody loves free. Come get it. We're making it. We're doing it. Plus, we got the album Global Woman coming at the end of the year. So, Sweet. stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? And tell the people your name again. Mud Dog, the S-T-E-V-Z, D-O-G-G. And where can they find you on Facebook and Twitter? You can find me on Facebook, actually, at, uh, well, Twitter, Mud Dog, at Twitter. And Facebook, I'm Mud Rich Bartholomew Watson, the third. Okay. Official. Official. And we are out. Peace.